Hi there. Okay, we're having a look at this Transporter T4. This is the 2.5 diesel variant. 2.5 is apparently the engine to have. Uh, we've owned this number. Uh, we'll have to check the advert details. I can't remember. Quite a few years. Anyway, um, I understand this is a special 88, or some 88 horsepower. Um, I'm not sure with the special what you would get. Tell from the registration, she's no two. Um, we've owned this for yeah quite a number of years and it's really surplus actually this was this really has been um, uh, laid up really since just before the pandemic um, and we just put her in for an MOT MOT done now one thing I would say this is a sort of this is a good basis for a project vehicle because she's yeah we've got bumps and we've got nicks and so on but what a great project vehicle because you look at this and you think this is a blank canvas to do anything you want with it really we've taken the signage off someone had a scrape on the door um i recall they put it into a wall when reversing and um they uh, yeah we had to we did it through the insurance and they actually did the whole side because they said they couldn't blend it in which is really taking it far too far and ended up they put a new door on there uh, but it wasn't uh, it wasn't impacted or anything that was quite a few years ago but it does mean this side if you look at the color scheme see the way the paint's faded but anyway yeah she had a new rear door there um, they just decided to change the whole thing which I remember being a bit surprised about because it was just dented um, but I said they choose to do that and there we are um, you've got some spare seats in the back that was actually put in by a, a chap who was running around this now this used to be a refrigerator van so you'll see some lining in here which might be useful for insulation or maybe it's not in which case you'll have to rip it out it used to have a fridge on the top so there's a couple of marks it's the way it had a those are the connections for it um, all sealed in just having a look in the front there over the top um, yeah so the chap was running around with this he uh, he had it and put his kids in the back so he could take them to school and things um, but this hasn't really been very far because we actually used to tow a trailer with this be a light coffee trailer which is why it's got a tow bar on it um, down to a place not very far away twice a week um, so you'll see the mileage she's only got 86,000 miles on which for this sort of vehicle when you can see them well you can see them with what I call intergalactic mileage I mean you know some of them are just amazingly long way these have, these have gone um, so you understand that it's not very far for something like this um, yeah so as a result um, she all feels really tight you know so I'll just start her up there if I took her out of gear so there's things like you can tell the gearbox has not got a lot of slack in it yeah you can see that and then we we'll start her up there wait for the glow plugs to go out and away she goes um, so just been MOT today actually so we're not looking around she's uh you see there aren't plumes of smoke coming out the back end. Although when we put her in for MOT, apparently, because uh, she hadn't been used for a while, there wasn't smoke, but he's uh, put an additive in uh, to clear that. Um, I don't know what they used. So it was obviously got a build up in the turbo and what have you. Um, so, again, you know, she just needs, she needs some love, really. Look, see, you know, little scrapes and things. You can see where the branding, take the branding off. Let's mark the paint there. So I mean, really, so I said, if we just view this as a, as a canvas, do what you want with it. But you know, the upholstery, it's really used. God, it looks like someone's had a, a mark on there. So he's spilt something. Got a nice little deck in there. Although that's come off, it's got a parrot. Parrot, um, stick that up on, on the top there it's got uh, hands free parrot thing there uh, got lots of history of that looking at that um, 
and obviously we've looked after it, as I say, for years. I'll dig it all out. You can check on the description exactly uh, what it is in numbers of years. But anyway, as I say, brand new MOT today. Just have a quick look, have a look under the bonnet. I don't know what we're gonna tell from this. It sounds nice and smooth. Just say, 80, 88 was it? Thousand miles, so it should. Not very far. Um, yeah, let's see there. 86, 890 on, on the uh, thing at the moment. Um, just straightforward heating. And uh, I noticed up here, it says there, so next to OT, see that probably shows you, yeah, when I say it has been off the road for a couple of years, I mean it. So it's just been MOT today, so it's, it's uh, pushing two years later. Um, it says, 91,000 miles for next or 24.6. Well, yeah, okay, so it's got 86, so it depends on your view on it, really. I mean, it's fine, it's ready to go. Time-wise, though, yeah, we could argue and say it needs to, needs to be serviced, but I'll leave that to you. At the end of the day, the door is not gonna be very dirty. Um, back seats are they're all in nice order. And as you can see, see the insulation here. Big thick insulation, as though it was a refrigerator van. So, uh, yeah, maybe you want to take that out. Maybe leave it in there if you want to keep it nice and insulated. If you want to sleep in there, hey, it'll certainly keep you keep the elements off you. A um, couple of mats there, useful, but high speed. Yeah, she's. Um, it is all doing what it should. I don't know what else to say on that, really. Turn that to where you want it. Um, you know why it's got a rear view mirror there? You can't see very much out the back end. <laughs> uh, yeah, MOT today, 12 months MOT. Gosh, it's 20 years old, eh? So yeah, not very many miles for a 20 year old. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else I can show you on it. She's just a very straight, honest two owner, I think, actually. I think we were the second owner. We bought this from a main dealer. Uh, yeah. But I'll check that ownership thing out and report that in the when I've got the documents and I'm writing the description. And uh, there she is. Just have a little look at these. You can have a look at the arch. It's a little bit tin room around the edges. And the scrape there. And there. And mark there. Yeah. So there's a few dings on the back there. They're in there. Cold, which is why that temperature gauge isn't going up very much. Um, anyway, there we have it. I'm sure she'll go on to the next owner and I'll be very pleased with this. I've just driven her down to the MOT station. She drives nice and straight and true. No nasty noises. And you can really feel, actually, that there's no bagginess in it, which is why that mileage is, is right. I mean, 86, I mean, it's... it's it's not very much, is it, really? Uh, yeah. There we have it.